Every year when spring is approaching, the people of Louisiana become filled with excitement. They set up ladders, eat large amounts of king cake, dress in purple, green, and gold colored clothes, and yell, throw me something, mister. If you've ever been to Louisiana, you know what I'm describing as Mardi Gras. Well, what is Mardi Gras, and how did it become a major part of Louisiana's history? No one knows exactly how all of the traditions from Mardi Gras started, but it stems back to centuries ago in Rome. When Christianity arrived in Rome, Roman festivals were integrated with the religious holiday of Easter. The period of 40 days before Easter is called Lent, and it begins with Ash Wednesday. It is a time of fasting and prayer for Christians. Mardi Gras season became the time before this holy period of Lent in which people could do and eat whatever they wanted. Mardi Gras spread across the European continent to other countries, such as France, Spain, and Germany. You might be wondering, what in the world do the words Mardi Gras mean? Well, Mardi means Tuesday, and Gras means fat. Fat Tuesday was the final day before Ash Wednesday began the Lenten season, so people celebrated the most on this day. People used to eat tons of fatty foods, such as meat, milk, and cheese, before they had to fast for Lent. Carnival, another name people call Mardi Gras, can be translated from the medieval Latin term carnalivarium, which means to remove meat. During Lent, people mostly eat seafood and bread. Fast forward to March 3, 1699. The French explorers Pierre Le Moyne de Iberville and Sir de Bienville landed near New Orleans. To celebrate, they of course had a Mardi Gras festival and named the area Pointe du Mardi Gras. This was the first Mardi Gras in America. As more French settlements arrived to America, they added to the Mardi Gras traditions with mass balls and street celebrations. This is where we get our present-day tradition of Mardi Gras balls during the carnival season. In 1793, the Spanish gained control of New Orleans. They abolished all Mardi Gras celebrations. It wasn't until Louisiana became a state in 1812 that the ban on Mardi Gras was lifted. In 1937, the first recorded New Orleans Mardi Gras parade took place. There have been very few years since that Mardi Gras has been canceled, some of which include World War I, World War II, and the Yellow Fever outbreak. In 1857, the first crew was created by a secret society of white New Orleans businessmen. They called themselves the Mystic Crew of Comus. They set many of the traditions for our present-day Mardi Gras, such as having a torch-lit route, decorated rolling floats, marching bands, costume crew members, and beaded throws. Soon, many other crews began to organize. In 1872, the renowned crew of Rex formed. They established the colors purple, green, and gold as the traditional Mardi Gras colors. Rex is now considered the king of carnival, and he holds the keys to the city of New Orleans for Mardi Gras weekend. Since many of the early crews were only open to white males, women and blacks began forming their own crews. Common female crews include Les Mysterious, Muses, Cleopatra, and Iris. The famous crew of Zulu was the first all-black crew and is known for their decorated coconut throws and Mardi Gras Indians. The centuries-long tradition of Mardi Gras has endured the test of time. This celebration takes place in many different forms in countries across the world. Brazil's Carnival, Germany's Fashion, and Canada's Quebec Winter Carnival are just a few examples of the way this European tradition has been integrated with cultures everywhere. Even in the United States, there are different forms in Mississippi and Alabama. Within Louisiana, celebrations differ among Shreveport, Metairie, New Orleans, and Mamou, just to name a few. Although there are many arguments as to which area has the best Mardi Gras or Carnival, there is one thing for sure. Each version in itself is a one-of-a-kind experience.